Don't do that. It ain't, don't, just because Trump's in office, we're not going to do that, all right? Let's try that one more time. I said, this is the legendary Black and Nobel. Everybody has been here. Lives have been changed. It has been cracking. It's coming here. It has turned around. And now they are seeing their kids. This is no, this ain't no goddamn joke. This is some real shit. You can, oh, I'm sorry, little, 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 little. This is my, <clears throat> you come in here as a Christian, you can walk out of here, you know, as a Buddhist Muslim. You just, you just never know. There's so much information in here. You can walk out of here, walk in here with a Jesus peace knee by with two onks and a bracelet <laughs> with a nose ring. You just like, fuck that Bible. You just don't know what happens in Black and Nobel. This place has been here for over 10 years. Give it up to Brother Hakeem who's been holding it down. This brother has been holding it down with so many bookstores that's closed, man. He is an uh, inspiration to me. I run my own business. I might talk about that later, but this brother has been an inspiration to me. You know, I really inspire, uh, you know, admire this brother. He's a hard-working dude. When when all the stores is closed, Hawk just, you know, he just keeps it moving. He don't give a, he sells anything. You know, he sells his books. When the books ain't moving, go to DVDs, mixtapes. <laughs> When they say he can't sell mixtapes, they say, fuck it, we selling clothes. Like, you just, <laughs> the clothes ain't working, we on this water. You better get that alkaline. <laughs> when the alkaline shipping was slow, he was selling sea moss. You don't know how we will sell anything that is legal. Give it up for that brother, man. He is the hustler of the century. No, really, this is, I admire that brother, man. A lot of people used to say we look like brothers. I had to lose some weight, man, because Hot had owed a few people some money. <laughs> and he was like, yo, Hawk. I said, hold up, dog. Hold up. I'm not hot. So I had to lose some weight. I was like 50 pounds bigger. Come on with that camera, man. You ain't from child support office, are you, man? <laughs> Shit, tell I'm working. This is a free show, all right? <laughs> uh, <laughs> damn. Free fucking show, all right? I'm just saying that in the camera. Uh, Shout out to them dancers. Where they go, man? That brother was up here getting his groove on. The brother with that blouse on, that dude was, he was killing that shit. I'm sorry, it would look beautiful though. I knew he was a dancer because he had that nice outfit on. I said, he can't be nothing but an artist. There ain't no regular nigga just walk around looking like a Jack and Diamond and shit. <laughs> Hey, shit, I didn't get paid. I say what I want to say. <laughs> Shout out to the comedian brother, man. New guy doing his thing. Give him some love, man. We made chicken bone, chicken stick. What was it? Chicken stick. Chicken stick. Chicken stick. Just word of advice, chicken stick. You might want to use your real name, all right? Or just some my real name. two names, chicken that's stick. My real name. Oh shit, you got more problems. <laughs> you got more problems than I thought, man. Chicken stick. Oh wow. So then that's your brother. What his name is? John Bone. What the fuck is his chicken neck bone over there? John okay. Breaker. Break who? John oh shit. Let me shut up. Then. <laughs> it's a jawbreaker. Then I got a blazer on. <laughs> I come in peace, brother. Oh, yeah. You see all this shit there? Yeah, you see my jawbreaker. Shit, ain't no, there's only one way out. This is my jawbreaker all deep. Hey, he's doing jawbreaker. Get him on camera just in case for the police. Just, <laughs> jawbreaker right there. Let you know that now, jawbreaker. I ain't scared of you, though, because I got something on my head that'll call the police in no time. Man. Shit called cell phone. <laughs> Jawbreaker, <laughs> lawbreaker. <laughs> Bars. What? <laughs> Who said that? <laughs> hey, uh, I should have known. Who is this? What should have You may look like this Nestor or something. <laughs> he said, "All right, please. What did you say, brother?" Oh, I don't know. I'm going to move on. I don't know. They're a little nervous now. They thought I was going to get on them. I see a lot of tight clothes, new shit. <laughs> Shout out. You look like y'all with the children plays baby gaps, mediums. I know the new day generation. Y'all call the fuck you want. I'm calling it what it is. It's tight. You say it's cute, it's new, it's tight. It's metro, it's tight. When you go on, what? What? This diesel, this cost one of your young ass jacket. Actually, I wasn't even talking about you, but no, since you mentioned diesel. it, though. That's my man, <laughs> <laughs> Oh, shit, okay. Look at this. Look. Now, when I look at you, though, you look like you're wearing a condom. That's what you look like. <laughs> it didn't matter. Half a Trojan. Go ahead, man. Uh, you look like an abortion. Hey, we didn't have it. Don't even try it, no. brother. Don't do that. I will hurt your fucking feelings, brother. Don't do that. I'm a professional, brother. Yeah. Yo, you're like a black Mr. Clean. Stop it. Uh, Mr. Clean, keep going anymore? No, but you're 
Yeah, I'm a professional. You don't know what I do, but I will. I ain't got no limit. I would talk about you, you fucking grandma was school, you so put it back, bitch. I don't give a fuck, dude. I talk about the eviction over there. Look at those shit on top of the sidewalk. You don't know what the fuck you fucking with. But go ahead with them damn ball huggers, niggas. Don't do that, dude. I'm gonna no. keep it moving, though. I just got some jokes. I'm gonna just get out of here for a minute. What'd you say? Yeah, and you look like you got diabetes, is what you look like. You need to get that nigga a tall glass of insulin on the rocks. You don't say shit else. Send that nigga right straight to the planet fitness. You don't want nigga. Hold on, hold on. You don't know. I don't think you know who the fuck you fucking with. I don't think you know who you fucking with. I don't think you know. Quan, I don't think you know. But I'm not going to do that. I'm not gonna do that because I just wanna get out of here and at the end of the day I got my man Jawbreak on my side right now. Ain't that right, Jawbreak? Get that tight little curve on, on camera. Go ahead, nigga. Hey, hey, Jawbreak, call them niggas that just got out. I know you know some niggas just got out. Tell them niggas, put the turtles up. It's time to fuck him up tonight. You know what I'm saying? We right here outside of Max's. I grew up right here, nigga. I'm 39 years old, nigga. I got a 27 year old cousin that keep it in and out of jail every fucking day. I call him my jumping. The fuck cousin. He sit around waiting for jump something to jump off so he go fuck you up. <laughs> you don't know who you fucking with. Let me just keep going. All right. Let me move side. You lucky I've been meditating. <laughs> <laughs> you had the legendary back in Nobel. <laughs> you need to read some shit. Go and give him a book, Hakeem. <laughs> I don't think he knew who he was fucking with. I just I had to let him know. Sorry, now let me just go back to you. Shout out to the door of the area, and this is like, this is the place, like I said, I grew up around here, there's so many things around here, man, give us some love around here, you, you can buy food around this joint, you can buy turtles around this bitch, sluices, fucking crabs, anything you want, socks, and every goddamn thing, and it's all at one o'clock in the morning, you can do this shit right here, right around the corner, bro, and then. This nigga sitting there talking to himself. I hope you ain't trying to fuck me up, baby, because I made you know. Listen, he's just jokes, man. I'm 39 years old. I run my own business. I ain't got no fucking uh, disability insurance, all right? I'm going to let you know. Jawbreaker. You got me, dog? You got me. We're going to see what that jawbreaker around is. He was a nigga. I just been breaker. I'm just fucking running. Don't go do that. Oh, man. <laughs> Nigga start whispering, got in his feelings and shit. <laughs> I do got diabetes. <laughs> <laughs> I don't fucking know that. That nigga is smart. That bald ass head is good. I lost 50 pounds, nigga. I can help you, nigga. Don't hate, brother. We can be friends. <laughs> You know what I mean, Quan? Let me just wrap this up, because I know we got some performing heads going on the break, and I just really came to talk, it was a talk to him, you know what I mean? I just really didn't have nothing to say. I was working all day, I asked Quan, I said, can you come through and do a few minutes? I said, I'm going to smoke a little weed, get a little high. Anybody high here makes a noise, if you're high, makes a noise. I said, unfortunately, now, we'll talk later, miss. I like that purple hair. You hear about yourself? No, oh, she said, no, they're high. I'm sorry, let me move over. She's sitting in the front, I'm sorry. I'm sweating my head and shit. All right, let me just get out of here. This nigga moving around and fucking coochie cutters and shit. Oh, my God. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm leaving alone. I'm glad y'all livened up, man. I'm just happy y'all lived up. I hope y'all enjoyed me. I enjoyed y'all. At first, when I came in, this shit looked like child support court. Everybody in this bitch all tight. You know, you know cool. that bitch, the men over here, the women over here, the women like, man, I should have never fucked his ass. Dude said, so, man, she took his shit down. That was just who sucks. Hey, this is true. I talk about real shit. You know what I'm saying? Levi in the building. Make some noise for Levi, man. This brother is a teacher, a scholar, a rapper, uh, all around. He was my drummer on the show that we used to rock here each and every week. For each and every week for a whole year and a half, man. And I come up here and I do new jokes every week. You can come in here and you can ask people who came in this show when I was here. Really, they heard the same shit. So, you know, I'm just messing with you, man, but you know, and like I said, I, you ain't got to tell me that, nigga. <laughs> just like I got to tell you that your titties is showing, nigga. Just like I got to tell you you got a B cup, nigga. Fuck with me, I know you ain't got it. My time is up. My max, y'all. Thank you. Oh, shit, uh-oh. Hold on. Hey, y'all, baby, take care. <laughs>
All right, we got one more artist for the delicious. We're going to close with some poetry, and then we're going to have 15 minutes of fun. All right, so uh, we just want to keep it moving. I like the energy, I like the vibes going on, so I'm going to go ahead and just call it as performance. Y'all ready for your next performance? Say, all right. All right. Word. So everybody, please clap it up, clap it up, and never TDS your